So first question, the first country to provide constitutional rights to health, all health services to its citizens was Russia. Now, Russia is credited to give the concept of socialized medicine and constitutional rights to health services. France, pasteurization and germ theory. India, India was the first country to start family planning control program. The first country to start the blindness control program and the first country to launch the low osmolar ORS. Germany has given the compulsory sickness insurance. Yes. Okay. Now for optimum utilization of hospital beds, the bed turnover should be slightly positive. Now let us understand what is the meaning of bed turnover. Now suppose the in a hospital, the number of beds are 100. And the number of patients, suppose the number of patients are 150. So now you can see the beds are less and the patient are more. Yes, this is a typical feature of government hospitals. Yes. Now, so utilization is over utilization. Over utilization. And this is a negative condition. Suppose there are 50 patients, which is generally seen in private hospitals. This is a gross underutilization. This is positive. So we always preferred that it should be slightly positive. That is roughly 75 to 90% occupancy is considered to be a very favorable condition because in that case, the new patients can get admission without the hospital being overloaded. Yes. Okay. Question number three. Obtaining an accurate estimate of disease frequency and effect of exposure on health outcomes in study population. Now we are talking about the population. So the answer is external validity. Now if the same question would have been given along with sample, then the answer would have been internal validity. Then the answer would have been internal validity. Yes. Which is more important? It is the internal validity which is more important because if internal validity is present, then only external validity will be present. Question number four. What is the appropriate measure when a researcher wishes to know the burden of a particular disease in terms of number of deaths in a specified geographical religion and region and population? So they are asking for specific. So your answer directly comes to disease specific mortality. Now, what is the importance of case fatality? It talks about killing power. So if a disease has got a higher case fatality, the killing power is more. Incident density, it talks about the number of new cases. Attack rate, it talks about the number of patients will have the disease, but it might be mild. So case fatality tells you more about mortality. Now, women above 35 years are screened for HPV infection and those having HPV infection are followed for several years to see cervical cancer. So this is the exposure. This is the disease. And since they have the infection, the start of studies after that, this classical diagram is for ambispective cohort. Now, if the start of study, if the start of study would have been before the exposure, then this would have been called as a prospective cohort. Now, in this question, ambispective is not there. So the better answer would have been prospective cohort. If the start of study occurs before which both exposure and disease have occurred, then this is called a retrospective cohort. 
in a case control the direction of arrow is reversed we come from disease to exposed we come from the disease to exposed in cross sectional no follow up either in the forward direction or in the backward direction so the best answer to this question was prospective cohort which of the following is not a primary requirement for conducting a screening for disease control prevalence of disease should be high yes it should be a common disease should be a favorable prognosis for early treatment of disease yes because the screening should provide benefit to the people who are being screened the government should fund the program absolutely not it is not necessary latent phase must be present true because if there is no latent phase there will be no benefit after screening for that particular disease so principles of screening given by who now remember it is not necessary that all should be present even if few are present or one is present still you will do it effective treatment is available yes we screen cost effective definitive gold standard we have to screen latent or asymptomatic disease is present we have to screen it should be an important public health program problem yes we screen natural history of the disease should be known question 7 a screening test is used in the same way in two population but the proportion of false positive in population a is higher as compared to the population b now remember the number of false positive is inversely proportional to the prevalence so if the false positive is higher in population a the prevalence will be lower the prevalence will be lower this is a mathematical derivation you should not waste your time in knowing the maths you should know this particular derivation yes okay which of the following is not an example of a dead end host covid covid jumps from one person to other dead end host is a typical feature of rabies japanese encephalitis echinococcus tapeworm and tetanus and tetanus which of the following is not a strategy for measles elimination campaign mop up mop up is a typical feature of polio so we have catch up keep up follow up yes now what is catch up this is just like pulse polio where there is a nationwide vaccination campaign where we are trying to reach all the children who are born between 9 months to 15 years 9 months to 15 years yes keep up routine vaccination it is the routine vaccination which is provided under the national immunization schedule so after the nation wide vaccination campaign if anyone is left out we do the follow up now question number 10 which of the following is not an amber colored vial now why it is amber colored because it is sensitive to sunlight which of the following is not a amber color vial or bottle vitamin a amber colored bcg amber colored mmr amber colored the answer is japanese encephalitis it is not an amber colored vial question 11 the compound implicated in visakhapatnam gas leak on the 7th of may was styrene now this styrene is basically a colorless flammable liquid which is used to prepare polystyrene plastics yes it is used in automobile industry this was the gas which leaked and had killed officially 20 people in visakhapatnam this has happened just this year yes and is a important question for your upcoming exams question 12 a researcher measures the fasting blood sugar of 100 people the mean is found out to be 110 and the standard deviation is 11 the cov is so cov is sd by mean into 100 so it is 11 by 110 
into 100. So it is 10%. So it is 10%. Yes? Okay. All of the following are examples of a nominal variable except. So nominal, we are talking about names. Gender, place of residence, color of eyes, age. Age is a quantitative variable and that is the reason it is measured on a metric scale. It is measured on a metric scale. Yes? Okay. 